Hello, and this is Westgate Resorts Oracle Applications Cloud. And today we're going to talk about how to do a credit memo in the supplier portal system. So, of course, first thing to do is sign in. And then we, of course, go to the supplier portal app. It's the only app we use right now. And then we look on the tasks on the left side and we go to create an invoice. And then, so we're in the create an invoice, we find a purchase order that we want to uh, credit. And I'm going to pick, hopefully, I picked the right one. It's 500645. Mm -hmm. um, please remember that anything with just a one star always has to be filled in <laughs> or you'll get an error. Um, so we're going to put credit memo 10, 25, 18. And you can name it or number it however you want and the date you put in is the date that's on the credit memo invoice and so how to change it to a credit memo from invoice on type is just hit the arrow and you see credit memo and that's how easy it is so we're going to go through the rest of it you're always going to have to attach your credit memo or if you don't attach your credit memo, of course, uh, AP will not uh, like your entry and they'll cancel it and you'll have to resubmit your credit memo, just like in an invoice. You always have to attach an invoice or a credit memo. We'll pick out a file just so you know what it looks like when it does get uploaded. And it's, it's thinking. So let's wait for the delay, and it's set up now, or it's it's been um, uploaded. So you can see that the your invoice or credit memo this time has been uploaded, and we will go down to. Uh, select an ad and we'll pick what we want to credit which line so we're going to just say that um, pick the one line and um, we'll say that uh, and you see it's a negative so it's always got to be a negative for the amount um, or you'll get an error. So I'm going to say that we're returning 15 and just so I can show you yeah it's, it's not letting me put the 15 so you got to put a negative and there's the error. The quantities and amounts on a credit memo must be less than zero. So I'm going to put negative 15 um, because we have 15 that got damaged or something. And we will now calculate the tax. And it's thinking. And it keeps thinking. And there we go. So it has calculated the tax. You can see tax is in a negative also. As long as um, the, the credit memo amount matches your credit memo um, amount that you've uh, attached and submitted, then you are golden and you can submit 
your credit memo. And you should get a confirmation box. It says invoice credit memo 102518 has been submitted. I'm going to say OK. We're going to hit Done. And we are going to go View It. And just like create an invoice, it's the same place where you create a credit memo. For To view the credit memo, we're going to go under View Invoices. And we'll bring our supplier name up. And we'll hit Search. And you see that it is in, in the search. Here's a credit memo right here for the 7988. Um, so that is how you do a credit memo um, for today. Uh, remember, if you have any questions, you can email Michael underscore Valentine at WGResorts.com or supplier underscore forms at WGResorts.com. And we will get back to you with any questions or comments that you have. Thank you.